What is up guys welcome back to another video my name is Nash and today I'm going to be going over how to do research when it comes to uh, looking for your finance degree on different college websites and uh, the first thing you need is obviously going to be the name of the college that you want to look into and I'm going to help you um, navigate the website to where you can do uh, the research that you need to know the classes you're going to take and you know how long it usually takes to finish that um, finance degree so this is going to be different obviously for uh, between public universities and private universities so the classes are going to be different so once you know how to uh, navigate one website you're going to be able to navigate any other website because even though they might be different uh, they're kind of similar in the way that they arrange things right all right so i'm going to be showing you two different schools and how to navigate that website and look at the degree plan to see what classes you're going to be taking and if you enjoy those classes and what options do you have when it comes to the classes that you pick on your own because believe it or not you have schools that will say once you get to the higher level classes they will let you pick, you know, you might go into corporate finance, am I going to a nonprofit finance, am I going to investing, right? But there are some classes where you just pick, you want to do corporate finance, so you are said to take classes that are related to corporate finance. But some schools will let you have a combination, right? Let's say you like uh, some things about corporate finance, so you take classes in that. Let's say you like investing as well, so they'll allow you to pick classes from uh, the investing basket. So by looking at the degree plans and the different business programs, you're going to be able to see what options you have when it comes to taking classes. All right, so I'm going to be switching over to the computer so I can show you guys um, how to navigate this website and how to do some basic research within the website. All right, guys, so as you can see, I am on the UTSA website, which is uh, the college that I actually went to and graduated from so I figured I would show you this one first since I know it the most and the next one I'm going to be showing you is actually UT Austin so let's go back to UTSA here all right so as you can see I'm on the main page once you type in utsa.edu you have um, the UTSA website so if you look on the menu here this is always going to be the same for every website you want to go to academics here so you have undergraduate majors and graduate programs and you have uh, certifications right I can imagine you're probably looking for undergraduate majors so you want to click on that right here and uh, this is going to open this up and you want to look for uh, whatever you're looking for you can do a list view you can you know categorize this might be different for different websites but uh, let's scroll down until we find a uh, finance here so when I go down all right so now we have finance we're gonna click on more info all right so once you click on more info you're gonna be getting kind of like the overview of what uh, the finance program is so you have the little description here which tells you that this is home of the top business schools in the world it is uh, one of the best places to earn a finance degree and it will tell you what you learn so now we're actually gonna go to uh, careers here there's more things that are not on this list but I believe this list is compiled with you know how many finance students graduate graduate and what they do right so this is pretty much what this is based on you can also look at the information related to the industries and this is usually the industries where the students are usually going you look at the salaries here this is uh, obviously average you can go to the skills and interest you know go to scholarships this is actually another important part if you're going to be applying to college if you don't have a full ride scholarship if you go to scholarships here you can actually see the different scholarships that you can apply to this kind of like shows you the organizations that are related to finance i was part of every organization on this list here so now I'm going to go back to details and I'm going to click where it says um, degrees offered. I'm going to go to BBA in finance. So I'm going to click on that. And this is going to take you to the specific page where you can actually see the degree plans and, you know, the mission statements and all that. So um, this is Department of Finance, obviously, when I go to degrees here. So let's say we're just focused on getting the just the finance degree. I'm going to click on that. And uh, this is pretty much going to show me the degree plans. And this is also going to explain the classes that you have to take, you know, the requirements, you know, the classes that you really need. And without this, you're not going to be able to graduate. Right. Um, if you're going to a public university, you might be required to take some English classes, history classes, math classes. Right. That's just how it is in the public university system. But if you're going to a private university, it might be different it might just go straight into the finance classes right so these are the core curriculum requirements that you have so math you have to take just one class and you can see here like you have also have to take a creative arts you have to take one class of this and you can you know look through this but if you go all the way down here you're going to look at the degree requirements right so this is going to show you these are the requirements that are needed you know you see accounting classes investments so it really just breaks down things but if you go further down you're going to find an actual academic plan 
So this is, I don't know if you guys watched my video on why college advisors uh, suck because sometimes they mislead you. So a good way to avoid it is by coming to the pages like this where you can see a four-year plan that's going to allow you to graduate in four years, right? And when your advisor gives you advice, you can come compare it to this. And yeah, so here you can see that this is the first year. These are classes they recommend that you take. And this is based on two semesters, right? So if you're taking fall and spring, but if you take summer, then you might be able to graduate early. But you can look at the second year third year look at fourth year you can see that here you have options to pick whatever classes you want to pick right so it says pick a business elective um pick uh, an upper division finance class so this is pretty much it when it comes to this you can do more research on here i think this is this covers the basics of you know how you can do your own research all right so that was it for utsa and uh, now looking at uh, UT Austin, and this is just going to show you how the how the websites are arranged in a similar manner. So we can look at, we can go to academics here. Now we want to find the College of Business. So if we go here, you see my comms, College of Business or School of Business. So click on that. And uh, if you go down here, you can look at the numbers. It's going to tell you that this is ranked number one. This is ranked number three in marketing. This is ranked number five in, you know, best undergraduate program. So let's say you see this, you like it. You could go up here as well and you're going to find programs and academics here. This is going to drop this down and you want to find exactly what you're looking for, right? So here you can actually go straight to uh, an MS in finance or you can actually want to look at the department, see uh, what you can find here. So look at the department and it's going to talk about the academic programs, the undergraduate and graduate. Like I said before, you're probably looking under undergraduate here you want to click where it says finance major here all right all right so here you're going to see that you have a bunch of options so i'm going to click on finance here so you have accounting international business management i'm going to click on finance and like i said before you see this similar format here what am i going to learn what kind of job can i get uh what students are saying so you can see that this is obviously different from what i was looking at at utsa you know there's some similarities but you can also see the differences so i'm going to go to um degree plan here you can actually download this and there you go so this one is a more condensed one so this is a lot less information than what was on the utsa one but you can also see that this is categorized in fall semester spring semester and this is four years so if you were going to take summer classes you might have to rearrange all of this so it fits over the span of well, however many years it takes you and uh, these classes are specific but once you get to the your last year just from looking at this you can see that right, let's actually go to the third year here if you look here you see that you have a free elective so you can pick whatever class you want so if you have a class that's in finance that you know that's not required here but you just want to take it you can pick that class and use it as your free elective and for your last year you can see that you have more options to take whatever class you want to take so these finance track course are pretty much like if you want to go into corporate finance there are certain classes that you have to take so you can just follow that corporate finance track right this is what this means so if you want to go into investments you're going to be taking investments classes so this is you just picking you know, there might be a hundred classes in that track you can only pick like three of those so you have a lot of options and you can see that you have free elective you can also pick an upper division non-business elective so if you are someone that just wanted to learn as much finance as possible and you're seeing that here they're letting me take a free elective but the elective should not be business right you might want to look to a different school that's going to allow you to pick a business elective or finance elective but if you are okay with this then you're good to go all right guys so that is pretty much it when it comes to doing research when it comes to looking for your finance degree and as you can see you know things are different the classes you have to take the electives that you can take they're different some will say you can't take business electives because they want you to be, uh, you know, to take other classes that are just not in business or finance. And uh, some colleges will let you take whatever elective you want to take, whether it's in finance or not, or accounting. And those are the things you want to look for when you're doing your research. And also, how long does it take to complete that degree, right? Some take five years, some will take three years. And also, if you're looking at this, if you're going to a public school, you see that you have those basic classes like English, math, history. You can actually take exams to get credit so you don't have to take those classes so those are the options that you want to look at when you're doing your research but that is pretty much it for this video let me know if you guys have any questions and also feel free to follow me on instagram if you have any questions you can always dm me but i uh, thank you so much for watching make sure you go hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace